Remember the Ayla Mati Chura song from Taikuram Bridge? It portrays the love we Malayalis have for fish, especially the marine ones. But do you know that marine fish contain mercury? Mercury is converted into the dangerous methyl mercury by aquatic bacteria and they get deposited in the body of the fish. Now, the larger, older and higher up the fish is in the food chain, the more mercury it contains. Now you will say that, why don't we shift to freshwater fish? But pollution is making aquatic sources unfit for aquaculture. Now the question, real question arises, is mercury uh, toxic to freshwater fish? And if so, which is the perfect fish to study such effects? A fish that is hardy and can survive pollution is the answer. And here comes Anabas Testudinius, the hero of my story. An almost similar role is portrayed by bioindicators or biomarkers. In a car, the indicator signals whether we are going to turn left or right and warns the people behind us. Similarly, the bioindicators indicate that any fluctuation in their normal level is due to an external stimulus, for example, mercury. I studied DNA fragmentation and antioxidant levels and bioaccumulation levels in fish which were exposed to methyl mercury, and the results were shocking. Antioxidant levels in certain cases went through the roof, whereas the others decreased. The biofragmentation in certain cases was so severe that the analysis was almost impossible. And uh, the minute concentration of methyl mercury along with just 15 days of exposure was enough to create high levels of bioaccumulation in the fish. So now what's the biggest story? A fish that is hardy, like Anabas Cercidinius, was able to survive the presence of mercury. But delicate fishes like carps, which are used for uh, aquaculture, may not. So the fish farmers are going to lose money as well as the stock. From the health point of view, in humans and animals, mercury gets deposited in the brain and the nervous system, causing neurological disorders that can range from blindness, deafness, up to paralysis and dementia. But there's an unfortunate problem with uh, mercury poisoning. The symptoms actually take around 2 to 15 years to manifest themselves, making mercury a silent and slow killer. So I suggest that the bioindicators that I have analyzed can be used to create a warning system based on the mercury levels in fish, provided the fish are uh, uh, tested regularly and stringent rules are in place. Finally, on a concluding remark, I would like to say that Malayalis, please band together and conserve the fish so that we can enjoy the fries and the yummy curries for the future. Thank you.